How many of us have joined a gym and then rarely used it? Well, that's a good way of making an expensive pastime even more costly. If you are determined to join a gym, then make the most of the competition between different providers. Call up a few and ask them for the best deal. If you aren't prepared to pay the price they're quoting, then ask for a discount. The worst they can say is no after all. If your hours are flexible, consider an off-peak membership or deals that don't tie you to a contract. And look beyond the big names. You may well find an independent gym in your local area could offer a better price. Also bear in mind your local leisure centre. Many have fixed up their facilities to attract more members. While a gym membership often costs more than £500 a year, most leisure centres charge half that. They often have a pay-as-you-go option as well. Local councils often have free or subsidised gyms as well. They might not be very fancy, but they will do the trick. Also ask your GP if they have any free classes for patients. Exercise on prescription has become more common recently. Participants typically get free or very cheap gym sessions for about three months, followed by a low-priced gym membership. The scheme is normally available to anyone over the age of 16 with a medical condition benefiting from regular exercise. Many companies also tend to offer group or employee discounts at gyms, so it's worth asking if yours does. And if you've got health insurance, you may get a discount too. Just ask your insurance company. Also, if you really want to save money, there are a number of ways to get fit and keep that way without ever setting foot in a gym. Buy a bike, running shoes or an exercise DVD. Register with uk.freecycle.org and you can post inquiries for any item you are looking for in your local area, which could get you kit for free. Failing this, doing housework will help keep you fit and will also make sure you remain in the good books with the rest of your household. Thank you.